Welcome. Today we dive into the riveting life journey of Mahavira, a prince turned spiritual luminary, and the profound impact of his teachings on Jainism and beyond. Diving right into the heart of 6th century BCE India, we find ourselves amidst a societal and religious cauldron simmering and ready for a profound transformation. The influential Mahajanapadas were embroiled in power struggles which set a politically tumultuous backdrop. Meanwhile, urbanization caused tectonic shifts, fueling changes that seeped into the religious and social fabric. In this flux, a significant event unfolded, the birth of Jainism arising from a growing dissatisfaction with Brahmanical doctrines. As we delve into Mahavira's early years, the man credited with refining and propagating Jainism, we learn he was born into royalty to King Siddhartha and Queen Trishala in 599 BCE in the city of Kundagrama, Bihar. This high-born child received a privileged education in scriptures and military skills, a norm for young boys of elevated status. Yet his story took an unexpected turn. Despite the luxury of palatial life, Mahavira chose a path of severe asceticism, mirroring the societal dissatisfaction that gave birth to Jainism. This extraordinary duality, a life of opulence, followed by stark renunciation, laid the foundation of Jainism, embedding within it the essence of Mahavira's transformative personal journey. Born into affluence, Mahavira, as a prince in 6th century BCE India, was groomed for leadership and military prowess. His early years were marked by a rich, palatial upbringing, daily drills honing his strategic acumen, and victories that highlighted both his martial skills and analytical prowess. Yet amidst all this, Mahavira was marked by a keen contemplative nature and a fascination with philosophical conundrums, which hinted at an imminent divergence. The opulence of his life created a vivid contrast as he ultimately chose asceticism over royal comfort. This introspective prince was not immune to the suffering he witnessed beyond his palace walls. Those encounters marked the onset of a contemplative era which nudged him towards a path less tread. Illuminated by ancient teachings and profound insight into the human condition, Mahavira ventured into the realm of the divine. His quest for Kevala Jnana, the complete knowledge in Jain philosophy, led him to renounce worldly pleasures and material possessions. This successful pursuit didn't just contribute to his philosophy, but shaped the core tenets of what was to become Jainism emphasizing spiritual wealth above material accumulation. Unfulfilled by the majesty of his palace, Mahavira's life was dramatically reshaped by a profound realization that life, indeed, contained more than met the eye. Bent on uncovering this profound truth, the prince willingly exchanged grandeur for austerity, basking in solitude, meditation, and the principle of ahimsa, or nonviolence. Yet the young renunciate was to become the cynosure of a religious community, laying the groundwork for Jainism amidst skepticism and doubt. Mahavira's dogged quest for spiritual elevation culminated in the 6th century BCE as he stood on the precipice of the divine realm with Kavala Jnana, the highest form of wisdom within his reach. Utilizing stringent measures of self-discipline and intense meditation, he shattered the barriers to enlightenment, anchoring himself firmly in the ethos of ahimsa and satya, truthfulness. Consequently, Jainism's bedrock rested on these pillars, facilitating a rejigging of ethical benchmarks. The birth of Sangha, a systemized Jain community, heralded the propagation of Mahavira's enlightened teachings, reverberating in the hearts of earnest seekers. A journey of transformation marks Mahavira's life. His birth in 599 BCE in Kundagrama to royal parents prophesied a life of privilege and leadership, yet his destiny wove a different tale. Forsaking the opulence of his princely life at the age of 30, he ventured onto an ascetic path guided by a meditative philosophy grounded in nonviolence. Mahavira's cerebral odyssey culminated in achieving Kevala Jnana after 12 years, thereby marking the genesis of Jainism with pillars of nonviolence, truth, and self control at its core. The successful quest for spiritual elevation, typified by stringent self discipline, catapulted him into founding the Sangha a community that echoed his enlightened teachings emanating from years of introspection. Transitioning towards Jainism's moral compass, we meet the five pillars delineating its ethical conduct, Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Brahmacharya, and Aparigraha. Ahimsa persuades nonviolence, 
finding expression in the practices of vegetarianism and environmentalism. Satya upholds the importance of truth and honesty, whereas Asteya promotes fairness and an unyielding stand against corruption. Brahmacharya advocates restraint, emphasizing control over one's senses. Lastly, Aparigra encourages minimalism and a clear spiritual vision, cautioning against accumulation of unnecessary possessions. These aren't just doctrines. They encapsulate a way of life, guiding an individual towards spiritual growth and liberation. Diving into Jain cosmology, we find the enlightening concept of a Tirthankara, an exalted spiritual guide, liberated and guiding others to attain liberation. A spiritual marathon with no discernible beginning or end, the flow of time in Jain cosmology, noted as cosmic cycles, alternates between periods of progress named Utsarpini and periods of decline, Avasarpini. It's within this cyclic flow of time that the Tirthankaras make their mark. Let's toggle our focus to Mahavira, the 24th and last Tirthankara, recognized for his pivotal role in shaping Jainism's teachings. Distinct even among Tirthankaras, we see him as a bridge, connecting the vibrant contribution of Parshvanatha, the 23rd Tirthankara, and solidifying the formless doctrine into a structure. A religious artist sculpting spiritual ideology, he clad the wisdom of the ages in precise, clear terms. The spotlight now shifts to the practical results of Mahavira's work. It's apparent in Ahimsa's principal importance and prominence given to Satya. These teachings bloom not just in the philosophical gardens, but also possess far-reaching influence. Notably, Ahimsa, advocating nonviolence and reverence for all life forms, lit a spark inspiring modern nonviolent movements. Mahavira's teachings continue to ripple through time, echoing the peak of Jain doctrine and practice. Jainism's emergence provoked an ideological clash with orthodox Vedic beliefs. Emphasizing nonviolence, Jain monks openly opposed traditional customs like animal sacrifices and caste divisions inherent in Vedic practices. This ideological collision erupted into an incident where Jain monks interrupted a Vedic sacrifice. As if external resistance wasn't enough, Jainism encountered its internal qualms. The prominent of these was the unanimous agreement on the depiction of Jain monks' attire, eventually leading to Jainism's bifurcation into two factions, the Digambara and Svetambara. Mahavira's teachings couldn't have had a more demanding proving ground. Shifting gears to intellectual confrontations, Mahavira's debate with Goshala is of historical significance. Venturing into profound concepts of karma and moksha, liberation from the cycle of birth and death, this dialogue exposed a major philosophical friction. Mahavira showcased his rhetorical capacity and responded with Anakantavada, a principle endorsing the coexistence of multiple perspectives. This principle not only signified a major development in the Jain philosophy, but also instigated Jainism's intellectual dominance. These debates cemented Mahavira's teachings, steering the wave of Jain philosophy and influencing the acceptance and spread of Jainism throughout India. Jain disciple Gautama Gandhara grappled with turmoil and confusion until a pivotal encounter with Mahavira introduced him to the principles of ahimsa, nonviolence, and anikantavada, non-absolutism. As these teachings permeated his existence, they propelled him onto a path of inner peace and personal growth. A seeker of truth emerged, embodying compassion for all beings and striving for understanding that transcended absolutist views. As embodiments of peace, these disciples became conduits of Mahavira's teachings, further spreading Jainism. In tandem, the disciples fervently took up roles to nurture and steward Jainism's growth, Disciple Sudharman, for instance, anchored Jain dialogues, exhibiting matchless diplomacy and conducting debates governed by Ahimsa. Their collective effort materialized in the compilation of the Jain Agamas, enshrining the teachings for generations. They were also committed to establishing remarkable centers of learning and worship, like Palatana, physical embodiments of their spiritual efforts. Their influential strides weren't limited to individual transformations. They lay the groundwork for new Jain sects, ensuring their master's teachings forever weaved into society's fabric. Stepping into the grandeur of Jainism's historical footprint, we observe its tenets vividly blended into the social, economic, and cultural spheres, crossing geographical boundaries. From its roots in Bihar, Jainism had an extraordinary journey, 
engraving an indelible influence on areas as divergent as trade and banking, architecture, and ethical practices. The principles of Ahimsa and Satya were imprinted in economic practices, resulting in long-lasting commercial success credited to Jain merchants. The tangible embodiment of moksha in Palatana and Dilwara temples still evoke awe-inspiring reverence, underlining the magnitude of Jain artistic contributions. Equally notable is Jainism's role in championing vegetarianism in India, reflecting a deep-rooted ethic of care for all sentient beings. Unfolding into the present, Mahavira's teachings resonate more than ever in the discourse on sustainability and peace. The vision of a harmonious coexistence with nature finds relevance in today's environmental dialogue, pushing the boundaries of the possible. Furthermore, the principles of nonviolence and truth reverberate in our quest for global peace, addressing some of the most intricate modern ethical and economic issues. It is an inspiration to see how Jain projects harmonize the ancient wisdom of Mahavira with contemporary ecological needs. Reflecting upon this, one marvels at how philosophically profound teachings, articulated thousands of years ago, still furnish instructive insights relevant in today's global community. The key to understanding Jainism's intricate symbolic system lies squarely in decoding the mirroring of its foundational principles. Take the majestic lion emblem, its very presence signifies leadership and courage, core qualities embodied by Mahavira himself. This emblem, resonating with royal ferocity, ascends from mere iconography to a profound tool for instilling virtues in young followers. Now, observe the Kayotsarga posture, an embodiment of Mahavira in the throes of renunciation. Beyond symbolizing a visual epitome of detachment, this posture initiates one into deeper meditative depths and peaceful coexistence a guiding beacon for daily non-violence practice. An equally rich symbolism unfurls in Jain art and scriptures, wherein Mahavira's omniscience is celebrated, each detail exuding his spiritual quest and ultimate enlightenment. The omnipresent symbols thus form an intrinsic part of a Jain's lifestyle, fostering a shared global identity. So, you see, in Jainism, symbols are no mere artistic creations. They indeed serve as visual scriptures etching Mahavira's essence and teachings into everyday lives. Mahavira, born into royalty, chose a path of awakening at the age of 30. His journey of self-discovery and spiritual enlightenment set the foundation for Jainism. Central to Mahavira's teachings are the tenets of Ahimsa, which urges compassion for all life, highlighted through the practice of vegetarianism. Satya, promoting honesty and truthfulness, Asteya emphasizing respect for others' possessions, Brahmacharya advocating for self-restraint and control over one's senses, and Aparigraha promoting minimalism and sustainable living. Each principle holds profound philosophical underpinnings that have shaped the practices of the Jain community throughout centuries and continue to be its lifeblood. The principle of Aparigraha, in particular, finds resonance today as a counterpoint to rampant consumerism offering a blueprint for a sustainable and minimalist lifestyle. Reflecting on Mahavira's teachings inspires personal spiritual growth, fostering an understanding of our individual roles in shaping a compassionate society where the welfare of all life is respected and upheld.